Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tribal Lacria in Crusader Kings 2 with me the Green Dragon. We are just gonna lower our levies and we're gonna declare another Holy War for Bourbon, hopefully this time without getting screwed by Italy declaring a white piece at the worst possible moment with these bastards and letting them survive our assault. Okay, the moment we manage to actually siege out one of their holdings, they can no longer white peace or declare peace with their, you know, rulers, overlords, without first dealing with us, which is why we want to do this. That looks like it's coming for us, that is bad. Raise troops, raise troops. If we were to say meet in Vermandoy, that would be good. Moving faster would be good too. Or Amiens, or however you pronounce that. Either way, we really, really, really ought to consider being awesome about this instead of being losers about this. Okay. That's good. Attack. Uh, who do we have? It looks generally okay. Yeah, you go on the center. You do that. You do that. Looks good. Kill. So we're gonna throw everything in there. We should be able to obliterate them. Okay, they lost. Practically lost the flank. Yes, that collapses. Fuck your charge tactic. Die in a fire, Italy. Die in a fire. Now we can go and siege in peace. Bastard. You really think this is gonna end well for you? Oh no, princess. No, you have no idea. You have absolutely no idea. And the game is chugging a bit, but... Hopefully that will resolve itself in a second or two. Okay, so that got made. We're gonna create a vassal for ourselves and build a city. He's gonna be pissed because he'll want control of that, but... Fuck him anyway. Fuck him anyway. I intend to fully... Re I fully intend to revoke the county of Vilnius from him. Cause... I fuck them. I have to wait until the Viceroy of Latvia dies and gets passed back to me before I can do that, but I'm definitely doing that. It's definitely a thing that's gonna happen. Okay. 38%. And you're gonna actually come in here. Are you sure you want to do that? Oh no, he's going to this one. Never mind. Okay, die, die horribly in a fire. Please, now, yes, now, maybe. Good. Good. Nice, crunchable temples as well. Excellent. Hmm. You are part of the Italian revolt. You're gonna be in Brabant on the 10th. I can actually catch you right now. Okay, good. Then maybe we can do some damage here and make things work out in our favor a bit faster. And Portugal and Italy have weird borders. I might have to do something about that. Clean that up, make good things happen. Kill. Kill. That's right, fucker. A fuck you, Italy. A fuck you. <laughs> okay. So that's another duchy under our belt. The duchy of Bubant. Can't you suffer from someone who's at war? Well, screw you too. Okay, we will lower the levies and then march over here and see about smashing those. And I'm fine, I just need to figure something out. My nephew. Okay. Said nephew will do. Uh, county of... What's his face? Good. And the county of Breda. 
Oh, I won't be able to actually... Well, actually, yes, I will be able to make this part of the thing. Eventually. Eventually, it's fine. It'll work. Trust me, it'll work. Okay. So, large amounts of money. Everything is good there. How old are you? You're 61. What would it take to off you a bit sooner than... Uh, what would it take to kill the Italian king a bit sooner, actually? Hmm... Well, that's not good. It's gonna take effort. Not actually gonna be that easy, and that is kind of crappy. Hmm... But what can I do, right? What can I fracking do? What can I do? I'm making a decent amount of money now, though. Why suddenly so much? City tax, eh? Prince Mayor, Grand Mayor, Grand Mayor. Okay! So they're doing a good job of paying their dues, that's excellent. Now, in order to up this, I need Legalism 6. How far away from that am I? I'm not that far away, I'll be able to up my taxes as well. So that's good. That's good. Excellent. Kill. Kill. Much dead. Meh, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Okay, just die now, okay? Die, you're... Son of a... Another mob of these fuckers. Wonderful. God damn it. Don't need this shit. Are you serious? Could you please just all convert to the one true faith? Please? I mean, we all know that that's the only proper way to live, so why do you have to be such bitches about this? Anyway. Can I raise... Yes, I can. Okay. Let's see about intercepting them. With a certain amount of troopage, like so. Also, kill them, will you? And you don't have any leaders. Well, let's put some on there. That aren't too horrible. Wow, you really got wrecked there. Okay. Sure, we'll stage the theft of the necklace. Why not? Magda, of course. Great. And I'm deceitful, so I now have 13 intrigue. Sounds okay. Sounds absolutely okay. And I do have, apparently... Okay, let's try to have a son. Also, die already, you fracking zealot scum. Die already. 95. So bloody close, too. Okay, the keep has finished. How many troops can we get? 2700 almost. That's good. Another 10%. On top of that, yeah, the castles can get really strong in this. Okay. So, hmm. Can declare on Italy right now. So, what if we were to declare on you? I can't because I have those levies raised. Right. 
seriously, that did not count for war score. Someone else was leading the battle. Why the fuck do you have to get in the way, you bastard? Why? You just... So annoying. Seriously? Oh, I'm gonna have to destroy their entire army because they occupied that one thing. Right. Because fuck me, right? Wonderful. There. It is done. Okay. Now. Holy War for Bourbon. Dijur Kingdoms, that is part of Aquitaine. Clare War. Auvergne and Bourbon, right? And then there's Burgundy and Luxembourg, none of which we care for. Okay. Bourbon it is. That's Asturias. One Bourbon. Alright. Next, you. Uh, for Champagne, I think. Yes. There we go. We'll start with the Rebellion, I think. We'll start with them. And we'll just raise what troops we can right here. Because that will... Obviously make it... Um, easier to avoid any attempts to screw us over here. Good. Good, good, good. So, troop-wise, retinue-wise, I mean. Can raise a few more, that's good. And you're just gonna sit there. Okay, that's fine. I'll actually be able to assault here, I think. Or at least I'm gonna risk it. Because that's a pretty weak castle, all things considered. And who do you want? The same woman? Random kinswoman? Sure. You can have her. I don't care. By all means, take her. Take her now. So now we have a single holding there, that's glorious. Okay, 28th, 6th of November, yep. Screw you. Oh, our center is actually collapsing under that, somehow. What the fuck does he have in there? I mean, I have more of everything, I should be winning. How the frack did you manage that? Okay, uh, auto balance, okay? Just auto balance this out. Okay, why don't we go to Dijon and uh, see about sieging out his top castle? Because it has had its levy raised, which means that it will be a lot more vulnerable. Only a thousand garrison. Easy pickings, right? And how is that city in Vilna coming along? Obviously there's gonna be some fun going on there. That's Polotsk. Uh, Vilnius, or Vilna, is here. In August it will be done. Could you please die now? I kind of need to revoke a county from a dude. Okay, we can always raise more troops from the British Isles, they can... That's part of the reason why I set it up that way, so I can relatively easily raise troops in sufficiently large amounts to be useful. Yay, so far, perchance. You know, I think I'll just bring them over, actually. I I think I might need them. I'm going through my armies pretty quickly and that is like 15k troops right there. 16, actually. And that is a pretty 
the noteworthy army. Okay, so that's doing well. Generally speaking, that's good. Hmm. So, this county is the war goal against the Asturians. We should probably go and attack it. Siege it down so that we get a ticking war score for it. Right? 2000, that's pretty tough assault. But if we unify all these troops, we can probably do it. Alternatively, we can go and assault this down first and then go there. And you are Normandy. Hmm, interesting. Okay, not wrath anymore, that's good. Yeah, see, this is what a proper ruler looks like. Listen, woman, if you don't start having kids very soon, I'm gonna ditch you. I mean, seriously. Does she have, like, a really low fertility score or something? Because, I mean, seriously, it's been a while. Hasn't it? I mean, it's been years. Three years, at least, since I came of age and married her, so... What gives? I need genius kids. The next generation of, you know, heirs and stuff. We kind of need those people. We really kind of do need them. They're kind of important. Right? For the dynasty. For the family. Okay. This seems generally okay-ish. Okay, we're gonna have to assault down the can. Yeah, we'll just assault all of this. Yes, it does cost us quite a few troops, I know. But it's kind of necessary in order to ensure that we get a ticking war score and everything starts moving in the right direction here. You. King's one. Yeah, sure. And then there is that stuff up there. Okay, fine, we'll go up there and slow siege some of it, that sounds good. And we will ditch the fleets. Okay, create that, but we will go to low centralization. Cause reasons. Cause reasons. Yes. And those are just retinue, so they matter a little less. So, okay, once that guy dies, we'll be able to take over Vilna and just add that to our domain and build cities there to milk people for cash with. So this is... we should actually go here since we can probably unsiege this. Or re-siege it for ourselves and use that for glory. Right. In fact, yeah, just to prevent the ticking, ticking thing, in their favor we're gonna do that. Well, this is relatively vulnerable, we might as well, right? Get that started. Stur is trying to unsiege their war goal. That is not cool of them. We're gonna have to counter that, obviously very shortly. Hmm. Okay, let's say we try to end rebellion war first, and then we went on there to take care of Asturias. In order to do that, obviously, we need to do some sieges, like, really quickly. Like so. Then go to there, probably, and do some more. Probably. And, you know, then... Then things become a little bit easier. Okay. Educate you with whoever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now. Wow, 12%. Ouch. 
crap, that's horribly bad. 14 days work, so can take an attrition tick, aren't we? Eesh. Ouch! Crap, two? Oh, that's bullshit. Why the fuck would we take two in a row like that? That's just wrong. Okay, just assault it down, get it done. Just finish this fracking war. Maybe I'm overdoing it. Maybe I shouldn't be quite this aggressive and should be more willing to siege a bit more slowly, but... That's damn it, this does need to be done. And we do have a future King of Aquitaine, right? So, these are by rights gonna go to him anyway, and he can then create whatever titles he wishes, and usurp kingdom level titles, and so on. And that's perfectly fine by me. Now then. For Asturias, we want to go in and smash their army. Cause reasons, really. Seems good. Kill! There we go. Chase them down and kill as many of them as we can, and stomp. Now, I could try to go and... Okay, they ended that rebellion. Portugal, I mean. Why don't we go up that way? We've had a major battle with them that's sticking in our favor. They are not that... Seriously, did I not click the button? I clicked the button. There, enjoy. Alright, Ventova is not building anything. What can we build in Ventova? Ooh, yes, please. Why is this lower all of a sudden? Huh. Oh, right, you. Uh, go and study technology there, I think. Also, how are we on that legalism? We are like a hundred points away, so... How many points do we get? Two. Five years. That comes up to five years or so. Which is, while not amazing, it's manageable. It will do. Now then, yay, Portugal, so-called Portugal. Okay, we killed the guy from the Holy Order, excellent. Now you go and die in a fire, please, thank you. Asturias is doing nicely though, 90%, or thereabouts anyway. It's good. Now I would really like to avoid having to slow siege these down, but... Oh god damn it, let's just bite the bullet and go for it. Hmm. I mean, Portugal doesn't look like they're gonna surrender sensibly. So you know. It's gonna be a thing. And what about here? I... Well, yeah, let's go for military organization. That does make a certain amount of sense to me. And let's use the opportunity to just fire a bunch more of the heavy retinues. Because sooner or later the Aztecs will arrive and we will need a strong core to our armies to ensure our ability to survive that invasion an adventure really also as the saying goes a fuck you a fuck you boom die horribly Portugal die horribly. This is her main holding though. We're up to 60%. Wait, okay. what if we was to, oh I don't know, spread out like this. No, just a bit more. Ah crap, they don't have any leaders on there. Oh, but the 
Holy Order decided to change their mind about that. How does the religion look like? How does the culture look like, actually? Really, really patchy, but we are getting some spread of proper, proper... Led Galleon. The holdings we've had for the longest, namely the Baltic stuff, that is pretty well converted, and the British Isles are doing well on that as well. It's mostly the French stuff that is problematic, but you know, eh. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. Hmm. So, what could I do to stop this? Might have to take a stack down there and do something about it, and I really don't want to. Okay. You know, I guess I will have to. So, we'll gather these two up and go down there to deal with that. This can be our interception stack or something. And once we do do that, it will be enough to end the war, I think, with Asturias. Hell, we might not need to do this, but we might as well, just so as not to risk it. Right? The Jure Kingdoms. So that leaves just two counties of Aquitaine, Auvergne, and whatever that is. I can't pronounce it, I won't even try. Alrighty. Oh god damn it, they actually managed to break that siege for me. You fucker! Italy is part of this. Fucking it! Get up there now. What the fuck, Italy? What the actual fuck? Let me guess, they hurt the refugees. Of course they did, they killed a bunch of them. Including two of the cavalry. Fuck tarts. Bloody fuck tarts. Fuck. God damn it. That's like the last fracking thing we needed. To actually fully to actually lose retinues outright. Jesus Christ. Sell some of these bastards. We have cities to build. At least we did catch a few guys as well, so it kind of covers some of the cost of that debacle. Go. Go. You're banished. Okay, so this is done, that's good. Enforce demands, yay. Well, this looks a lot neater now, huh? Mm, da -da 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 -da. There you go. Wait, did I just give you the temple? I did, whoops. The county with all lower things. Congratulations. Congratul fracking relations. We are actually making decent enough chunk of money, enough to keep reinforcing the retinues, which is good. Since clearly we on occasion need to, and holy crap are they... Oh, we're almost there, we can almost turn up the taxes further on cities, that's great. What? No! Why the fuck is there a non-family member on the English throne? 
he needs to die now all oh, right I won't be able to do much about it or maybe we revoke England from him and turn it into vice royalty and we can always do it that way start making more of those like whenever a kingdom becomes a problem we just revoke it outright and give it to someone who will appreciate it more. Okay, I'm gonna call it an episode here. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one, so see you then.